I'll keep you updated on all of this as we head through the programme. Storm Brian. Storm Brian. Storm Brian, what a yeah. name. What's in a name? Storm Brian. It's like Storm Horace, isn't it? You know, it's like Storm Cuthbert. You want, you want Storm Macbeth. Yeah, something Storm menacing. Lear. How come? I got to bed at 8 o'clock last night, because, mm. you know, I take this seriously. Um, you presumably were in bed at 2. Have you Haven't been? you lost some weight? Since I was last here. <laughs> well, I'm just way. Say it. In... Do, you, do you weigh yourself compulsively? I mean, no, not no. at all. Not as windy this week, though, you'll be glad to know. Excellent. Good. The toupee stays in place. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Who's yours? Yes. I'm going to give it a little test. <laughs> <laughs> you know, all your secrets. We're going to test the, the glue all that's right. being used. Don't blow too hard. Uh, right, so two minutes past six. So this is this and, morning. And more to the point, the couple who were the first couple to do the deed. Yes. Because that's what the show's about, isn't it? Let's be honest. I mean, that's actually what <laughs> it's, it's about. It's about love. It's in about fact, sex. No. What do you like for breakfast normally? Uh, I'm very obs As I've got older and worrying about the old ticker, I've got quite abstemious. And Laura's at the race is in Epsom today. Laura Tobin. Laura Tobin yeah. is there. Charlotte's going to be there later. Look at you. Oh, look at you. <laughs> Fascinator. <laughs> Great. So the last time you saw Dolly Parton, you smelt her because she smelt I gorgeous. smelt her before I saw her. Oh. Good morning, good people. It's just gone six o'clock. Welcome to my least favourite Monday of the year. Oh, I'm sorry. Because the clocks went back. Why oh, yeah. do we keep putting the clocks oh, back? No. Last uh, night it was dark at five. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and probably maybe at the end of the day she'll say, is there something, something different about you today? Well, that is a weather forecast to kick a show off with, isn't it? Eh? It Fantastic. is. Well, well, I don't know that it is, you see. Laura There's promised no spring you, yesterday. <laughs> yeah. But I promised in January my news resolution was not to moan anymore, and I've slipped. Really? You so slipped I a think... long time ago, After, you? Last, after <laughs> yesterday's programme. <laughs> it's like January the 2nd. I did think you, we've got did, so much to moan about. Did you make that resolution of your so own great. volition, or, or did somebody tell you to? What's this? Stop moaning. What about Evie, the new Whitehall? Well, it's not so much the new Whitehall cat, but this is a female cat in Whitehall, which at last is having her moment in the sun. Um, and uh, and Eve is in there to bring harmony and peace. Yeah. Although although she was, I don't get this. She was actually ref by the international development secretary yesterday, Penny <laughs> Morden, um, who was basically making a big deal about equality in you know feline equality in Whitehall. It's a cat, Penny. <laughs> They're not politically aware. It was a classic sort of office scene where where your new boss is an idiot, a complete. Blank, asterisk, asterisk, blank. Yeah. yeah. And she's, as always, she has a gun in her bag. And uh, he's being incredibly rude to her. And finally, uh, the, the character said, um, are you always like this? And he said, sorry. And she pulled the gun out and blew him away. <laughs> and, it was just, and it was the fantasy that so many people have had when they have an appointment with their middle manager. <laughs> and Megan's already vetoed the royal gynaecologist, hasn't she? She's yeah, got, so she got her own team around her. lady gynaecologist. So, well, Fantastic. And home, I assume, means it's the cottage, isn't it? Yeah. We say cottage. It's Frogmore Cottage. I'm, I'm still a bit upset at the, what she told us at the top of the show, that she's too yeah. short to look at the view from the top of the cathedral. All of that. Wait, she have to go back up there and maybe take some steps with her. Take a box. Oh, oh great view, Laura. <laughs> great view of the sky. Wonderful. <laughs> yeah. Shorty on the roof. Yeah. <laughs> Good effort. Shorty on the roof. <laughs> see your new Subaru Shorty on the roof. <laughs> OK, well, let's get the news travelling weather where you are. We'll see you in just a moment. <laughs> That's very funny. Uh, you can see it. Yeah. It's called A Deal with the Universe. Yeah, we've all tried them. That's unless he's easy. unless he's born evil, unless he's the Damien child, then he knew it, exactly yeah. what he was doing. So. <laughs> that's a really mess with yeah, That's the seventh year. <laughs> well, let's keep going. But of course, presumably, Daddy can take it down to the the, the iPhone store can't and actually get, get, it get, it, fixed. get it get it unlocked. Yeah, I would have thought so. But still, it's in good the meantime, um, have we got these Marmite Easter eggs? Uh I don't, I, don't, I don't dislike <laughs> it. I hate it. Well, it's yeah, it's not horrible. Even. Did you make um, these yourself? And, well, no, actually. It's probably just as well I didn't make these she myself. She made some Easter bunnies for her little girl this week and the heads all fell off. The heads fell off. Decapitated. And Easter Have you heard about her Easter, uh, Easter no. bunny well, biscuits? Well, listen. They were decapitated. They were self-decapitating yeah. really? Easter bunnies. You do bunnies. have a lot of stored-up anger, don't you, Charlotte? No, well, then, then... Her little girl witnessed it and you'd think it, she'd burst out it's crying. Yeah. She thought it was funny. No, she did. She thought it was well. You're raising a monster. It's a monster. It's going to be so exciting. How often does your f do your fellas um, change their... Un I don't mean change their underwear on a weekly basis, <laughs> but how, how so Today. we've got some that's been sent 80% of men wear pants with holes in with, them. And here, these aren't... Oh, sure they, these aren't ooh, right. big yeah. holes in them. And, and actually, these lots and lots of people can't remember. Lots and lots of men can't remember the last time they bought The last they time they bought it, yeah. Pants. No, and it's you not... You are And I've been there forever. I can't remember the last time I, I wore pants. Really? Yeah, really, yeah. Well, what about <laughs> your fellas? Do they, do they regularly refresh and buy? Well, the quote says, my husband is horrified at the state of my drawers. He so is. Right. But it says why cleaning Greatly. is the new... Isn't it great? Brilliant. Um, all right, competition time now, and uh, Andy is in Lincolnshire this morning. I don't know why. Why are you in Lincolnshire, Andy? That the sexual tension thrums in the air. Um, yeah. I think it's, as I say, a little bit leg. pervy, to be honest. Do you... 
Yes, I do. Um, and I think if you went out, you wouldn't go out wearing this and, and, and just your underwear, would you? Well, I've worn worse, if I'm honest. <laughs> um, <laughs> yeah. okay, I have salt anything, in my bag. You have salt because, in your bag? Because, because increasingly in restaurants, they won't give you salt because it's bad for the bad heart. You. I carry yeah. a little vial what of salt. Because, because if you're in a restaurant and you order the soup, say, and it comes yeah. and it's undersalted, yeah. why would you sit there for the next 15 minutes sipping undersalted soup? <laughs> Sorry, but my salt isn't a superstition. That's, that's, that's a condiment to eat. She's frightened of travelling with salt. She's mad. No, this is a news programme, isn't it? Yeah. yeah. Should we do some news? Is there something that, a bit... And a sorry to say be, this, but yeah. let's use the F word here. Is there something a bit fascist? So, should we reduce our working hours and give, you know, the old 9 to 5 a P45 in search of a better work-life balance? Are we basically here falling for, I suppose, this tradition of British Puritanism? The, the more work, the better, even as you say, if it's actually inefficient. Uh, Kira Duncan reports. Durkin, rather. What a week! I mean, Cornwall was like... I was, this time yesterday, I was setting out for a very early walk along the cliffs, and it was like the Aegean. Mm. Looking down at the, the, the Atlantic, I mean, the sun was just coming up, and the water was translucent, and I'm sure I saw a dolphin, but anyway, uh, it was amazing. In the news. Oh, yes. Yeah. It's just got a nice group. How do you see you at the shaving mirror in the no. morning? Yeah. It reminds me of a great film, you know, Back to the Future yeah. and all of, of that. Course. And, yeah, yeah, yeah. That's a good one to start with. Okay. Okay, let us know what yours are. We... What price do you put on your pet's care? Is there a point where you say, too expensive, the dog has to die? 